Hey guys, welcome back for another STEM session. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really simple but also really cool STEM activity. I'm going to show you how to make a hand crank winch from some recycled materials that you should have around at home. So here's what we're going to need for today's activity. We're going to need some toilet roll tubes. Um, I have a bunch of these at home so I'm using these um, but you could also use kitchen towel rolls if you have some of those I just happen to have a bunch of these on hand so I'm gonna use these and um, you're gonna need some string um, or some twine something like that um, I'm going to use one of these wooden skewers here um, as the center of my pulley but you could use a pencil also if you've got a pencil around uh, you're going to need some tape um, scissors be careful with the scissors and a little piece of cardboard to anchor your winch to like that um, so a piece of corrugated cardboard or like cereal box cardboard or something like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape three of these toilet roll tubes together to get a little bit of height into my winch um, but if you're using um, kitchen roll tubes you probably won't need to tape them together because they'll be quite large anyway so I'm going to tape these together first and then we'll get our, our winch assembled. Okay, so I have my two toilet roll tube towers stuck together. And the next thing that I need to do is I need to make a little notch in e either side of my toilet roll towers so my wooden skewer has somewhere to sit when it rotates okay so i'm going to use my scissors to cut a little notch on for this okay i have the little notches cut out on either side of my tower and when i put my skewer on top there it should be able to rotate freely yeah, perfect. Okay, so um, next I'm going to stick both of my towers onto this piece of cardboard here just so that they're secured. And I'm going to use the uh, skewer as a sort of a guide to know how far to put them apart. So you want like a little bit um, of the skewer sticking out on either side so I think that's about that's about right yep so I'm just gonna tape that down with some tape okay all done those are secured to the base they're not going anywhere um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna use another toilet paper tube and use this as the item that we're gonna raise up with our winch but you could um, you can make like a little basket if you wanted you can make anything you can raise up anything with your winch i'm just going to use this because uh, that's that's what i have to use i'm going to cut it down because um it's a little bit big to fit in the middle of the of the two tires at the moment there we go yeah so whatever item that you're using just make sure it fits comfortably in between your two tires um then i am going to get my string and cut a little bit i want to make sure i don't have too much slack on it or otherwise i'll be turning my hand crank all day um but i also want enough that it fastens onto this too so i um actually going to tape it onto my skewer to secure it if you had like a spool of thread 
or something, you could attach your string to the spool of thread or you could use the thread from the spool of thread either. Um, and you could attach that to the you could attach that to your skewer, your pencil or whatever you're using. Um, I don't have a spool so I'm just gonna tape it straight to the uh, the wooden skewer that I'm using. Then I'm going to secure it to my little um, my other toilet roll tube here or whatever you're using maybe you're using maybe you made a little basket or something like that and there we go okay so we have everything secured and we're ready to test out our winch so let's give it a a crank and see if it works yep here we go it's raising it up and it lowers it down as well. So this is a really simple version of a winch, but no matter what you're doing, the design is the same. Um, have fun with it and try out some different things. Um, I saw somebody used um, straws either online. Um, you can make, like I said, you can make a little basket for it. So, yeah, have fun. Try out your own designs and let me know how you get on in the comments.